Okay, uh, I'm just going to do a little quick update on my boiler situation. Uh, it's just a bit of um, information uh, that's changed really because uh, to do it boiler inspection. I've been following the book to the T and, and, and literature that I've got, which was printed probably back in, I don't know, 70s perhaps. And since then, there's been a bit of a change in regulations. So, when you last, when I last told you I'd took my first part of my boiler to be inspected, that's passed okay and it's fine. And I thought, so that was my first heat for my silver soldering. <clears throat> and I thought that, um, I thought I could put it all together then and, and complete the job. Well, apparently that's not the case. Uh, instead of having it all together and, and all soldered up in one in one go the next the next time I heat it up, I've got to leave that alone for a minute, that internal bit, them internal tubes, and I've got to assemble the outer part of the boiler as it is in front of you, um, with all the bushes in, uh, the throat plate, the barrel to the throat plate, the outer firebox to the throat plate, all the bushes for the feet, uh, the joint, the joint inside here for the um, outer firebox where the joint is, um, the blowdown valve and the um, safety valve and uh, steam header bush. So I've got to do them first then have another reinspection so they can see the inside before I put before I put it all together then. So instead of doing it in two heats, I've got to do it in three heats. Um I just thought I'd clarify that before uh, before I carry on because uh, in my last video I think I mentioned that after I'd got that inspected I could then pr progress to put it all together. So anybody that's might be watching and using any information I'm giving. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to misinterpret um, the procedure, if that if that's the word. So uh, yeah, I've got to now solder this outer part together, have that reinspected, and then I can put put the old job lot together um, with the back head in. So I just thought I'd clarify that. So today uh, or maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, and do this this second heat and then get that reinspected. Uh so I'll update you at a, at a suitable time uh, when I'm in a position to do an update. Okay, then I've made a start with this uh, second part of my silver soldering. Um I decided to, while the barrel was off, I decided to put the clack valve bushes in uh, without it being assembled because there's going to be no, not so much heat going up this way. It's all going to be concentrated on this side, uh, on this side here. So I've, I've managed to get these soldered in uh, and I've only had to eat this barrel up to do that. I think I broke a bit too much solder on one side though, but better to have too much than not enough. Um, so my clack valve bushes are in. I'm now preparing rest at boiler, um, assembling it and fluxing it as I go ahead with each little part after I've cleaned it all up thoroughly. So that's what I'm on with now. Uh, I'm just putting this... this uh, joining strap across bottom of outer firebox you see there's a joint in there I've got to I've got to solder across that joint and across this strap so I'm just putting these uh, I call them screw rivets I'm just putting these screws in to hold everything in place and I'm not screwing up screwing them up fully tight um, I'm just leaving, leave, backing off a little bit, about half a turn, so solder can get underneath the head of the screw. 
um, if that makes sense. So I've fluxed all the outer part, I've fluxed all this strap now and that's fastened. So what I've got to do now, I've just got to flux the inner part of the throat plate to put the barrel in, to put this in, screw that into place and then I've just got to, I've cleaned all my bushes up, um, I've just got to flux all the, I've cleaned all the holes up, I've just got to flux all the bushes, flux all the holes and just tap the bushes in into the relevant parts. Uh, so that's where I'm up to at the moment. Then, then I'm ready for soldering, whether it be today or in the morning, I don't know. Depends on time. So, uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, boiler update here. Um, I've managed to get me my outer firebox now soldered up. I've not been able to show that on camera because uh, I've done it outside and I ain't really got facilities for, for videoing outside. If you saw my first uh, soldering part, I had to set my camera up uh, in my workshop pointing outwards. And when when you're soldering one of these up, you've got that much going off. You've got to be walking around all the time. And I couldn't get a good shot of, of me doing it. I've done the best I can with the first part, with tubes and everything. So if you want to look back at that, and see what I mean. Uh, so I've done this bit off camera. Um, I've got it all soldered up now, and uh, it's now ready for next sec uh, third boiler inspection before I do finally put it all together this time. Um, I'll just show you around it. I've got uh, I've got all all bushes soldered in, and. The strap at the bottom that joins the outer firebox, the feet bushes, the, the blow down, and the clack valves. This is shining a light in that. So uh, it's all done now. I've cleaned it up, ready for inspection, so they can see everything. Because it's important that they see that you've got full penetration at silver solder in all components. So that's going for off for inspection in, in the. It's okay. I can then go ahead and put this first part of boiler that I did. This is going to slide inside the old job lot. And then you see these three stays here that I've soldered in. They're going to line up with them three three holes. Uh, <coughs> with these three holes here at the bottom. And then there's some more stays goes in to uh, support the to support the back head. So there's a couple of stays there and there for that go into back head. Go in. Right, the front tube plate here has got to go into tubes and into end at barrel with all my steam header on and everything. Uh, and then uh, <coughs> once I've got this firebox in position on the stage, I've got to put the back head in like so, solder all that up, solder the inner firebox to this back head and put all the fittings on for the uh, regulator pad, um, the side glass um, bushes, the stays and the closure plate bushes and once that's done, the stays are soldered in and the front two plates soldered in. That'll be boiler completed, except for then I've got to make all the fittings to fit in all the relevant parts. But as, as, the, as the boiler stands alone, that, it'll be complete. So uh, <clears throat> I'll keep you updated on that when I get my, my next inspection done and uh, 
we'll just go through the procedure of putting it, final assembling it all together. And if you've not seen the earlier parts, I suggest that you you start from from beginning and, and, and work through it if you're interested in uh, what I'm doing and uh, maybe doing one yourself. And, uh, yeah, if you've not seen my other vid videos, have a look at them uh, on things I get up to in the past. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on, I think it's part 11 next. Bye for now then.